Monty of Facebook Live. My name is Ethan Moore. I'm the chairman of the Montague County Republican Executive Committee, and we're moderating a forum for candidates for can uh, that will be on the ballot on the May 10th primary. Uh, we'd like for you to like and share what you're seeing on Facebook. We'd like to build that audience so as few see it or as many see it as possible. Uh, and again, to our audience here in public, in person, we thank you for coming. Next, we're going to transition to our candidates in the contested primary race for county commission. Uh, that's Sean Sakura, the incumbent, and Charles Hartzog, the challenger. Uh, we'll, uh, we have three separate questions for you all. You, you received them in advance, had an opportunity to uh, prepare for them, but they will be different than the Senate and the House candidates. I think we've addressed those topics ad nauseum, so we're, we're moving on to some different topics. Uh, we'll start with a three minutes uh, for each one of you to give us your introduction, and then we'll just start in the, in the order that you've set at the table. Uh, there a timer? Yes, there's a three minute timer, same as it was for the House and the Senate candidates. When he raises an open hand, you have 30 seconds. When he raises a closed hand, your time has expired. Okay, Charles Hartzog will be first. Now, I assume this is the first question is about broadband, yes? This is your introduction, sir. Ah. Can't hear me. Oh, I can hear, now I can hear myself. So, uh, well, initially I was from Eufaula, Alabama. Well, uh, was there, was there until I was six and a half years old. Um, my background actually goes, uh, goes as far as my history goes, goes back to 1750. When my ancestors first arrived in America uh, from Santos in Germany, uh, back then known as Prussia, uh, and overall, um, well, first it was Eufaula, Alabama, where I would lived, or near my most, the majority of my father's side of the family, and then when I was about seven, we moved to Ohio, near my mom's side of the family, and then a few years ago to West Virginia. And I know I'm probably the, not the most experienced person here, um, but who can blame me? I'm I'm young. Um, though I do see that as an advantage in many ways, actually, because um, well, we are in a college town, and while most of the college students have already left, I do believe that it may provide an advantage in many ways, and I'm not saying. That it, um, and my, but I also believe that um, a lot of people around here are, are tired of the people who always run repetitively without term limits. And that can be a little bit annoying to many people on, on many occasions. Uh, and I, and I, I've got, and through this election, I've gotten to know Sean Wuerl, and I like him. If, if it, and he and I had a discussion a couple days ago, saying that if I lose, I'll, I'll support him, and he agreed to the same thing. If, I, if he loses, he'll support me. Um, thank you. Thank you, Charles. Good afternoon. I first want to thank the Mon County Republican Executive Committee. Oh, sorry. I'm just getting used to the hearing aid, so it's just a sign of age. I want to thank the Mon County Republican Executive Committee and uh, Morgantown Wright who are putting this event on. Uh, it's folks like you that are putting this information out there for the public to be able to compare and contrast and, and, and make choices. So thank you very much. It's very important to the overall process. Um, as I've indicated, or as was indicated, I'm your current county commissioner representing the central uh, district uh, here in Morgantown, which covers Morgantown proper. Um, me and my wife live in the seventh ward along with our two daughters. Uh, one daughter is a junior in, uh, at Wesleyan uh, studying biomedical engineering. She's currently a physics major. And my other's a sophomore at Morgantown High, which is when she's on the prestigious MHS Red and Blue Band drumline, and she's also a member of the cross team. As far as my credentials to be county commissioner, I have a 28-year career at the Department of Energy. Uh, in my career at the Department of Energy, I've managed contracts over 10 times the size of the, of the, county, con the county budget here in Mon County. 
I have also have a, uh, I'm a project management professional, which is the gold standard for project managers. I'm also a certified project, uh, uh, certified professional contract manager. So uh, I certainly have the credentials to do this job, and in the past five years, I believe I have been doing a good job in, in, in this job. And I think I've re generally have changed a lot of way uh, county government functions for, for its citizens and for our employees. So, looking forward to this conversation and thank you. Thank you. Just hold on to the mic there, Sean. Uh, the first question will be for you. The pandemic has taught us that, this, that high speed internet was the new essential utility in the 21st century. As county commissioner, what would you do to expand access to high speed internet to all areas of our county? Well, the first thing I do in my second term is continue doing what I am doing. Uh, when I came on the commission, I started attending the region's uh, six meetings where they had done a uh, broadband plan for the whole region, which is a 10 county area, I believe, and uh, asking a lot of questions about, okay, so they, they came up with a plan for Mon County. Okay, how do we implement that? So start, we started that process about four years ago. Uh, the pandemic has been good for some things uh, in that it really forced a lot of attention on the need for connectivity in our county, in our, in our, in our country. And first thing, being a project manager, my first thing that I wanted to do was go out and figure out an overall plan of how we we're going to attack this. Uh, it's frustrating as an elected official because you get lumped in with all the politicians that like to just talk about things and talk about the money they're throwing at projects, but no real solutions as far as how to fix those problems or even address those problems. And I found out across the country that process is really lacking. So we went out and embarked on about a year-long process to um, develop an RFP to have some experts come in and uh, provide us with a detailed plan. In February, we released uh, the findings of that plan, and right now we're in the implementation stage, which we call Phase 2. The overall plan is this, this document right here. It's a comprehensive strategic plan for all of Mon County. And we've already started implementing a couple uh, steps in Phase 2. Phase 2 is, uh, we last week, we approved a contract with legal support. 